Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about graphing proportional relationships. You can get the worksheet used in this video for free by clicking on the link in the description below. In order to show you how to graph proportional relationships, we're going to do a couple practice problems from our graphing proportional relationships worksheet. The first problem we're going to do on our graphing proportional relationships worksheet is number two. This problem gives us a table, a graph, and asks us to solve for the constant of proportionality. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to use our table to complete our proportional relationship graph on the right. The first thing we can do is we can label our axes on our graph. So we know that the x-axis is going to be minutes. So we know this axis is going to be minutes. And we know that the y-axis is going to be feet. In order to graph this, we use the values that are given to us in our proportional table here. So our first point is going to be 0, 0. So we put a dot on 0, 0. The second point that is given to us is 1 minute and then 2 feet. So we go over to our proportional relationship graph and we go to 1 minute and then up to 2 feet and we put our second dot. The third point we can put on our graph is minutes is 2 and feet is 4. So we go over to 2 minutes and then up to 4 feet and we put our third dot. Fourth point is going to be minutes is 3 and then feet is 6. So we put a dot there and then our last point gives us minutes is 4, 4 minutes and then 8 feet. So we put our last dot there. So now that our proportional relationship has been graphed, we can find the constant of proportionality. The constant of proportionality is given as the equation k equals y divided by x. And k is the constant of proportionality, y is the y values, and x is the x values. So our x-axis is minutes, so we know the minutes represent the x values, and the y-axis is feet, so we know feet are represented by the y-axis. So in order to solve our formula k equals y divided by x, we can use any column from our table as long as we put feet in for y and minutes in for x. I'm going to use this fourth column which gives us 3 minutes and 6 feet. So our feet is 6, so we know that's the y value. The minutes are 3, so we know that's the x value. So to simplify this, we're going to do 6 divided by 3, which is 2. So now we know that the constant of proportionality is 2 feet every minute. And that's going to be the solution. The last problem we're going to complete on our graphing proportional relationships worksheet is number 3. The first step is to use our table to complete the proportional relationships graph. So again, we're going to use the values from each column to plot the points on our graph here. The first step is to label our axes. So we're going to label hours on the x-axis and then miles on the y-axis. In order to complete the proportional relationships graph, we're going to use the columns from the table to plot our points. The first column gives us 0, 0, so that's going to be our first point. Second column gives us one hour is three miles, so we put a dot there. The third column gives us two hours is six miles. And then three hours is nine miles. And then four hours, so we go to hour four, and then up to 12 miles. And then five hours, and then 15 miles. And then finally six hours, which is 18 miles. Now that our proportional relationship has been graphed, we can find the constant of proportionality. We know that the constant of proportionality is equal to the y values divided by the x values. We know that the x values are represented by hours and the y values are represented by miles. We can take any column that we want to find the constant of proportionality. I'm going to use column number four, so this one right here. This column gives us miles, which is our y value as nine, so this is nine miles, 
divided by our hours column, which is three, so it's three hours. And then when you reduce this, you'll get nine divided by three, so it's three miles for every one hour. And that's going to be our solution. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to our channel, or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.